YOLO Live released version 1.9.1 of the software for the YOLO Box Pro just recently, and there were a ton of new features on it that are really awesome, but tonight I just want to have a look at one of those, which is the ability to invite up to five guests along to your live stream. That's right, just from the YOLO Box, you can just send an invite to five different email addresses or send a link to somebody, and they can join in and appear on your stream and when they do join in from their phone for example it just comes up as another video source on the YOLO box and you can use it like any other video source. I'll show you how that works. First of all you need to start up a new stream so I'll do that now and I'll just create a new live stream and I'm just going to call it interviewed for example because um, an interview is the type of thing that you might be using this for. So I'll create that stream and open it up here. Now I've just got the one main camera running at the moment. Now I want to invite somebody along to this. So let's just click on this icon down here that's got a couple of people on it. That's the guests icon. And in here you can invite guests. You can mute guests by default when they join. So I'm just going to turn that one on so that when somebody joins they're automatically muted. And then I'm going to allow participants to join the stream when they when they do come along. So when they accept the invite, they can just join the stream. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to invite myself and that's easy enough. I can just go and type my email address in here and then hit send. And now that's going to send an invite to me with an email link in it that will let me join the stream. Here's the email and as you can see it's got a link in here. I'm just going to click on that and it's going to take me to cloud.yolalive.com and then I can hit OK to allow it to use the microphone and video. And there you can see I've got a video preview and the microphone volume input. So that's OK. I've got some audio and I've got some video. And now what I'll do is just scroll down and click join the event. So now that I've joined the stream, I've got two pictures on my phone here. The first one is a preview of the stream. This is actually what's being broadcast. And the one underneath it is the picture that I'm sending to the stream. This is my phone camera. So I can adjust that a wee bit and uh, just sort of get it right. And we're ready to go. Let's switch back to the yellow box. So here on the YOLO box, you can see that I've got the main camera, this one here. And I've also got my cell phone camera, which is this one down here. And both of these are now available as video sources on the YOLO box. And you can do anything with that video source you can do with a normal camera video source. Let's have a look at creating a picture-in-picture -picture type function or a side-by-side. -side. So I'll just click there and I'll create one of these multi-view things for my interview. Um, let's go side-by-side -side one. I'll pick one video, then I'll pick the next video. And here we go, we've got both of these videos here. Got all of the usual adjustments and things on them that we can have. I can choose a background to go with that one. Just that nice little cityscape. Done and done. And here we go, we've got a dual picture interview thing that we can use here and um, I can talk to myself because I've got one camera here and one camera here and they're both coming up on the yellow box. So as you've just seen, setting up a live stream, inviting some guests and using the video feed from those guests in that live stream is actually a really simple and very quick thing to do. But it's not the only thing you can use this technology for. There are some other scenarios where you might find this useful. In particular, using cell phones or something similar that you can run as a guest as remote cameras. So I just wanted to come up with a couple of scenarios that might spark your imagination if you were looking to use this for something. Imagine perhaps a sports field. So you're at a sporting event, a football game, and you wanted to get cameras set up in different locations around the pitch. Now, normally if you're using something like the YOLO box or a similar product, you're restricted to the length of the HDMI cables that you can use, or maybe some more expensive wireless sender receiver kits that are going to get quite costly. With this setup, you can get a secondhand cell phone, say an older cell phone, like an iPhone 5S or an iPhone 6, 
you can run this client on there and set these up on a tripod with a phone mount and have remote cameras at key points. You could put one behind each goal post, a couple along the side of the pitch and get different angles and even have different people manning them. And then these five cameras can come back to the YOLO box with three other physically set cameras. And then you've got all of these video sources available and you haven't had to run any long cables anywhere with boosters and you haven't had to pay for expensive transmission devices. This is a great tool for getting that sort of thing done and you can do that as a one-man band if you want to. The same sort of deal goes for say wedding videos. Phone cameras these days are absolutely brilliant and in a lot of cases they actually work a lot better in rough and really challenging conditions like low light and heavy contrast than a lot of cameras do. And you can put a phone into a very discreet place like just you could even just tape one to the wall of a place or something like that if you really wanted to there's a really small form factor so so if you were filming a wedding you could put some cell phones up in very discreet places very easily and be able to film a wedding from eight different angles all at once and only have a couple of the cameras that need to be wired up the other cell phones you can use to get things from all sorts of different places and angles that you might not otherwise be able to with traditional cameras. The third scenario I wanted to bring up was one that makes this yellow box solution rather unique. You see, you can live stream an event which might be a role playing game or a gathering of families from all around the world, and this can be in five or six locations all around the world in different countries. All running at the same time and live streaming at the same time this could be somebody's birthday party say you've got a, an elderly family member and you've got other family members all around the world and you wanted to live stream this so that everybody could communicate with each other and talk to each other it could be a private event it could be just public or unlisted or whatever and using this technology can let you do that very easily all you need is somebody with a cell phone in each location you can email five people this link and have a sixth one set up where you've got your yolo box in place and suddenly you can have this massive gathering a huge family reunion all around the world just using a few cell phones Anyway, I hope this has been useful to you and has given you some really interesting things to think about. If you've got any questions or comments about this, please put them into the comment section down below. I read as many of those as I can and I get back to them as many of them as I can as well. If you would like to subscribe, you can click here and do that. And there's a couple of other videos here and here that you might find interesting as well. And I'll see you in another video really soon. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you later.